I'm Joe Putchings, and this is how to use the mute and solo icons in BandLab. To mix your song properly, there'll be times when you need to listen to one track or a group of tracks. And to do this, you can use the solo and mute icons in BandLab. But which ones to use? Well, let me explain. First, tap on the Mixer Settings icon. Here you will see there is an S and an M icon on each track. The S icon is the solo icon. Tap on the S icon on the first track. The S icon on the first track will now light up and all the other tracks are greyed out. Tap on the play icon and you will hear the first track play. All the other tracks have been auto muted. Tap on the S icon on the second track. The second track is now no longer greyed out and the S icon is lit up. Tap on the play icon and now only the first and second tracks can be heard. The solo icon is a great way to listen to just one track or a small number of tracks, like when you're mixing vocals. But sometimes you want to listen to the whole song, but just without one or two tracks. And to do this, you use the mute icon. The M icon is the mute icon. Tap on the M icon on the first track. The M icon is now lit up and the track is greyed out. Tap on the play icon and you will hear all the tracks, except the first track. Tap on the M icon on the second track and the M icon is now lit up and the track is greyed out. Tap on the play icon and you will hear all the tracks, except the first and second tracks. The mute icon is a great way to temporarily remove one or two tracks, or a small number of tracks, while listening to your song. But what about comparing tracks or auditioning tracks? Let's start with just tracks 1 and 2. To so tap on the S icon on the tracks 1 and 2. All the other tracks are now auto muted. Now let's audition track 4. To so tap on the S icon on track 4. Now tap on the play icon. To compare the song with track 4, and without track 4, tap on the M icon on track 4. So, tapping on the solo icon auto mutes all tracks that are not soloed. Tapping on the mute icon manually mutes a track so it cannot be heard even if the track is soloed. When you tap on the solo icon again to turn solo off and there are no more soloed tracks, all auto-muted tracks are unmuted, but tracks that have the mute icon lit up still stay manually muted. Now do be careful when using the solo icon and the mute icon at the same time because although tapping on the solo icon will turn off the mute icon, tapping on the mute icon will not turn off the solo icon. So if I tap on the S icon on track five, so it is the only solo track, then tap on the M icon on track five to manually mute the track. The track is still technically soloed, 
so all the other tracks are still auto-muted. And when I tap on the play icon, there's no sound. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.